All right, a rare blow for freedom. You know, we've been talking about big government socialism and so forth. Now, a rare blow for freedom, stopping crazy climate radicalness. Joining me now to talk about it is the great Rick Perry, former energy secretary, former governor of Texas. Rick, it is a pleasure to see you. Uh, I know you're headed for I know you're headed for a charity, and we're going to put the charity up on the full screen for you. But Rick, this is interesting. This Waters of the United States, you know about this called WOTUS. You got a judge down in Texas, I guess. Anyway, they overruled. They cannot. The EPA cannot do to Texas and Idaho and other states ultimately what they tried to do, which would effectively shut off the water supply, all in the name of uh, climate change and you know clean water. So this, I think this comes from West Virginia versus EPA, too, a Supreme Court decision. But it's a rare blow for freedom, it seems to me. What you thinking? Well, it's really interesting. When you think about uh, what you had with uh, Kevin O'Leary on your earlier section, you talked about uh, letting the states decide how to run their business. Yep. I mean, when, when you get down to it, uh, the Tenth Amendment that says, look, the federal government has a few things that it's supposed to do. It's supposed to do them well. If it doesn't uh, directly uh, give the uh, federal government that responsibility, it is saved, reserved for the states or the people. That's basically what the Tenth Amendment says. And this is a, a great win for the Tenth Amendment, in my opinion. Uh, the states need to be left to take care of their, their resources substantially more than uh, the, the federal government. Uh, one size doesn't work. I mean, might might work for gym socks, but it makes pretty poor public policy. So having this federal judge use a little common sense, look at the Constitution, say, you know what, uh, Mr. Biden, you and your EPA have way overstepped your bounds here. We're going to put an injunction on this and stop, put the brakes on it. And rightfully so. Uh, the, this radical environmentalism that is coming out of the Biden administration will strangle. And it's fascinating to me. You see them go help in states like California with the Silicon Valley Bank. But Texas, Idaho, they're kind of red with their politics. So let's kind of step on them and use our federal government overreach in every way that we can. Rick, uh I hate this. I'm going to ask this anyway. You're a former governor of Texas. You know a lot about bank supervision at the state level. If a Texas bank got into trouble, you think they would have guaranteed their uninsured deposits? Actually, uh, Senator who's a what's in Oklahoma asked that question and Yellen wouldn't even answer it, for heaven's sake. You yeah. think they would have helped a, a Texas bank in the Midland area or with fossil fuels? I doubt it. Oh, that, that's the great one right there. You think if a Midland uh, bank, one of the big fossil fuel uh, banks, were to go upside down, would they step in? Well, the answer is not only no, but hell no. Mm -hmm. uh, this administration is completely and totally biased towards its radical agenda, and we've got to we we got to get this country back in in shape. Whether it's uh, uh, you know uh, electing folks the next election cycle that doesn't allow uh, the Biden administration just to run roughshod over this country, it is it's 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 a scary proposition when you think about where this country is headed, both economically, socially, and otherwise. One uh, last one, uh, Rick Perry. This UN put out another report. This is one of these crazy climate reports, okay? Um, the worst effects of climate change, the world's, to avoid the worst effects of climate change, the world's nations must together cut greenhouse gas emissions, get this, 60% greenhouse gas emissions, carbon, 60% by 2035 in order to limit warming to one and a half degrees uh, Celsius. 2035, uh, that's 12 years from now, a little more than 12 years from now. This is insanity. And by the by, China building, I don't know, a couple of hundred coal plants, India the same way. World's pollution has actually gone up, not down. The United States has gone down, not up. Here's one of these scare stories from the U.N. Here we go again, Rick Perry. Well, and if you let the uh, U.N. have their way, you might as well have the headline that say, oh, and all you people in Africa, India, you're just going to die. This is a death sentence for people who... Uh, cannot use fossil fuels to improve their life, to flourish. And the left has got to stand up and say, you know, we're just for people dying. That's what we're for. Just insanity. 
And by the way, nobody believes this stuff anyway. Anyway, Rick Perry, you are a prince. Rick is having a charity sale to benefit Vet Solutions. It's an organization dedicated to veteran mental health. And we appreciate your time out, Rick Perry. You are a true prince and a great American. All right, folks, come.